Hey, Tina, there seems to be some concerns raised at Queen's Park today. Tell us about that. Yeah, there were some concerns, but first I want to start with some promising numbers out of Ontario. They are reporting even fewer cases than, than they were at this time last week. The chief medical officer of health says for four days in a row, the numbers have remained low, and that is a trend he hopes to continue to see even as testing ramps up. But on that note, we did notice a steep decline in the number of tests conducted yesterday, down 7,000 from Sunday. We asked the premier about the sudden drop. On Sunday, the province hit a record high with 17,000 tests, but today we're down to 10,000 once again. There is capacity in the system to do more testing now, so why isn't the province using its full testing capacity? And how can we even think about reopening when we don't have a clear picture of how this virus is spreading in our communities? I'll tell you right now, I'm, I'm disappointed on, on the, the chief medical officers in certain regions. I'm not going to name them. Uh, they know who they are. Uh, start picking up your socks and start, start doing testing. I don't know what the big problem is with, with them testing. It's frustrating as anything. So Sorry, but it, it gets frustrating. They need to pick it up, and as simple as that. And we'll, we'll be uh, speaking to them over the next day or two and find out the reason they just are not testing. Now, Ontario's chief medical officer of health was asked about the premier's fiery response. He says there are a number of issues at play, supply shortages, coordination, data entry and weekend sample delivery, to name a few. But he did note we don't need any more excuses. We need solutions to ensure we speed up the process and have data accurately recorded and analyzed. The premier noting there are 34 chief medical officers across the province and he wants to look at a different model after the pandemic where one person is in control as opposed to that many. Meanwhile, the Premier says the priority is still to increase testing in long-term care homes. He wants every resident and frontline health care worker to be tested. We're still hearing stories about people being turned away from testing as there are still limitations on who qualifies. The Canadian Society for Medical Laboratory Science says we're not at the point yet where we can begin random community testing, especially after Health Canada recalled a promising rapid test which was supposed to offer results in just 45 minutes. There still appears to be a bit of a supply chain problem with swabs. Mm -hmm. And we had had some hope with the new Spartan test coming online. Huge excitement in the field. It was point of care. You know, it was only going to take 45 minutes for a specimen. And they just had the testing units pulled from the market May 1 um, because it, it, there's a problem with the swabs. And a plus to them to try to have found a different type of swab than the one that we're in the current global shortage in. But it's proved that it's not doing what it needs to do to detect positive cases. Ontario's medical officer of health says 53% of cases are still community spread. The rest are long -term care in long-term care facilities. He says he wants to see that number below 50 before he starts easing restrictions. Now, in his announcement today, the premier also pledged $12 million for online mental health supports for those who are struggling during this pandemic. He says they are in this together, and he says that it can be accessed safely from home. An assessment can be done, and anyone can speak with a therapist.